Hello, fellow doll lovers. It's Janie. Welcome to another video on my channel. I have a thrift haul for you guys, and I am very, very excited to share it with you. As you guys can see, I am in my grandma's basement yet again. That's why the lighting is bad and the familiar red curtain and the tables with the dolls. Um, but I am here to celebrate Christmas, and it is past Christmas at this point. But as usual, I went to some thrift stores, and I found quite a few exciting things. And I'm going to go ahead and jump in and show you guys. So this is um, a combination of things I got from two different thrift stores. Now, the first things are here. This is the first thrift store, and then everything else is from the second thrift store. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you, like, in the order of the thrift store. So I'm going to show you these things first, and then the rest of the things. Um, but I found not a ton of things, but still some good things. I only found four dolls at the thrift store. However, I'm still very excited about them. For only uh, $4.89, I found this Meredith toddler doll, and she is in great condition, if you can't tell. She has a belt, she has her dress, and she even has her shoes, which are really, really nice. Um, so she's in pretty great condition. She looks like that. She's very cute. Um, her hair is not in the best shape, but... I'm really hoping that I can fix it, um, and luckily Meredith's hair is supposed to be kind of crazy anyway, so I definitely think I can salvage it, but nevertheless, she is in very good shape for less than $5, so I've articulated knees and articulated elbows, so that's pretty cool. And then the other dolls that I got, um, I got this ballerina Barbie, she has her dress and everything, um, so she's in better condition than the one that I already have of her, and she was only $0.79. Cents, um, they didn't have a lot of Barbies there, but they were all 79 cents, and I was like, even though she's a duplicate, she's in gorgeous condition, plus she has her dress, and so I can, like, I can't really say no. So, I'm very excited to have her. She's very pretty. Her hair is still in its, like, manufactured hairstyle, um, and she's got this. She's one of the I Can Be ballerinas. And then, the one I'm the most excited about is this Barbie. Now, I know who she is. Um, a Thousand Splendid Dolls got her, and I... Her name escapes me. I can't remember which one she is, but she is a collector Barbie, and she is so pretty. She has really curly hair um, and really pretty face. I mean, she was only 79 cents as well. She doesn't have her outfit, but that is totally okay. I'm still very excited to have her. She's very nice. And then the last one is this one. Now, she's wearing this random... Rudolph sparkly dress, which doesn't belong to her, but I'm just going to go ahead and take that off. Um, she was also only 79 cents, which is crazy, um, but I'm going to go ahead and take this dress off so you can see her. But she, I don't know if this is her outfit, but I'm going to keep her in it anyway. She's got this horseback riding outfit on, um, and it suits her really well. Um, I bought her because she had her outfit plus an extra dress. So this is her. I don't know who she is, but she has um, articulated knees and two bent arms, so I think she's supposed to come like and sit on a horse, um, but there she is. Her hair is still in its manufactured hairstyle, and it's not in that bad of shape, so that's good. And then I got a bunch of other things at the other thrift store, and I'm going to go ahead and show you the things that aren't dolls first. And I found this giant bag of furniture and accessories and stuff for only $3.99 at Goodwill. Um, so that is a pretty good deal because this thing is pretty full and of course I probably won't keep everything but it's still a pretty good deal for all this stuff I think. So I'm going to go ahead and take the bag out. We'll take the stuff out of the bag. Um, and the first thing that I'm pulling out is this thing I'm probably not going to keep. This is just like a wooden like shelving unit type thing. I may actually end up keeping it because it could be useful. Um, but it's just like a wooden, like, shelf. It's got, like, a shelf like that. Um, and then the next thing is this, like, kitchen sink kind of area. It has this thing that flips down and it changes. Um, I think it might have something to do with, like, a vet or something because it says Barbie on top and it's got, like, a little dog. Um, and I think it's cool that this thing flips and it's got, like, some stickers on it. Um, and it's, like, a little table and it has like a little circle for a dog to run through. Um, so it might be like something to do with like a vet or something, like a vet Barbie. And then we have a very large chair. Um, this definitely doesn't fit a Barbie, but it's a really nicely made chair and it's an Our Generation chair because it says um, Our Generation on the bottom, if you can pick that up. Um, but it looks like that, which is very nice. Then we have this, uh-oh, does it have the other leg? 
Um, this Barbie, um, table is missing a leg, but that is okay. Um, it's one of the pretty new ones that even has, like, the little holes in it where you can put the stuff on it. Um, but it's, like, wood grain, and it's a shame that it's missing a leg, but that's alright. And then we have a grill, which is really cool. Um, I don't think it's Barbie, but it's really pretty. It's blue, and it's silver, um, and it's, like, really nicely made. Um, yeah, I don't really know which one it's from, but it's a really cool grill. And then we have this wooden, um, like, it's like a crib, um, and it even has little rockers. It's made out of wood, and it's painted blue with a pink bow. And then we have a little wooden chair. Um, I don't know why it has, a, like, a knob on it. Um, actually, I think that this might be a nightstand. I think this is a nightstand, and it's wooden, and it might go with the rest of the wood furniture, but I'm not sure. Um... I don't know what this is. Oh, I think it has something to do with, like, a Barbie cash register, um, because it has a number, and then it has, like, a thing where you bring up the food, and then, like, a tiny mini cash register here, and I think you kind of just, like, set it inside something, um, but it's just that. Then, there's more wooden furniture. There's this really nice chair. Um, it's pink, but it's painted brown, um, and it's made out of wood. It looks like this. It's very nice, actually. And then there's more wood stuff. We have like a little like stool or either a stool or a little table and it's black. Very nice. And some more wooden furniture actually. There is a like an oven type thing. It's got a handle and like a turkey cooking inside. I don't know what that belongs to. But then there's also a wooden table which is like really nice shape. It's very like sturdy and like nicely painted and everything. And I think that all of this kind of goes together. So that's pretty cool. We have a crib and a table, a chair, a little nightstand, a stool, and like a shelf. And then got a bunch of other like Barbie stuff for only $4.99, which I think is a great deal. Um, and the next thing is this bag of clothes um, and accessories. And I think it all might be either brat stuff or something else. It was $4.99, which is a little bit pricey. However, there's some great stuff in here. There is a pair of Bratz pants, which look like this. They're very nice. Um, there is a top, as you can see. It's a very pretty top. Um, it's got like a metal with it, so it might go with some sort of like award-winning doll. This really cool lamp, which even has a plug. I don't know what it plugs into, but it looks like it might actually light up because there's a light inside and everything. So that's pretty exciting. And then there's also this little beanbag chair, um, and it says Bratz on it, and there's so, like, there's a beanbag chair, which is really nice, and even some more clothes. So we have a blue jacket with, like, purple lining on the inside, and some fur, like, fur, I don't know why I said fleur, um, and then this belt, it's got some fringe on the front, and then these tights, they're blue and they're sparkly, and this skirt, which go with the tights, it's purple and it's kind of fringy with silver. And that was a little expensive. It was $4.99, but brat stuff is expensive and I do not find a lot of stuff like this. So that's pretty cool. And then the other bag of things I found are dolls. So we're moving on to the dolls now. But it was this bag of like little mini dolls for only $3. And there is a lot in here. So there's like a little Barbie Dreamtopia Kelly in here with her skirt and everything, which I think is very exciting. Um, so here she is. She's the purple one. She has her, her hair in and she even has her skirt. This is my first um, color reveal, Kelly. Um, and she's very cute. I'm just very excited that she has some of her clothes. Um, and then we have this Spirit Riding Free Doll. Um, I think that's who she is. She's got brown hair, uh, which is in really bad shape. Um, it's very tangled, but I'm hoping I can fix it. I don't know if this dress belongs to her. I'm kind of thinking it doesn't because underneath she has molded pants. Um, if you guys can see. And there's tape. I'm hoping that her leg isn't broken. If it is, that'll make me sad. Um... But she's got a bunch of tape around her leg. Um, let me try and get the tape off really quick. Hold on. Oh, her leg is broken. That's sad. Um, yeah. I can try and glue it back together, but um, her leg is in fact broken, which is sad. That's okay. Um, and then there's also 
one of these little mini dolls. I do have one of these. She um, is the blonde one, but I'm excited to have another one because I only have one and she is a very cute redhead one. And she has this dress, but I don't think it belongs to her because it's too big. However, it does match her pretty well and she's got purple molded shoes. Um, her hair is pretty crazy too, but it's not as bad as the other one. She's very cute. And then there is a Madame Alexander um, Glinda doll right here. I don't collect these, but she's pretty cute. Um, she looks like she might be one of the McDonald's toys. And then we have another Spirit Riding Free, um, and she's in pretty bad shape as well. Um, she's wearing this dress that I don't think belongs to her. I think it might be Bratz because um, it's too big. And her legs are super, super loose, um, and her hair is so matted it's not even funny. And she has a chip in her neck, so like this doll is all levels of needing help. But I'm hoping I can do something to fix her anyway, because she looks really, really sad. Um, but I'll do my best to see what I can do with her. Um, but now I'm going to show you guys the big dolls I got. So I think that was a pretty good deal for only $3. Um, even just for like the color reveal Kelly alone, I'm still pretty excited. Um, but I found two big dolls. The first one is this Fancy Nancy doll. Now, I don't collect Fancy Nancy dolls. However, this one is kind of the similar format to the dolls that I like. She's got the inset eyes, plus she was fully articulated, and she had all of her clothes on, so she's got her, like, her dress, and she has her tights, and she has her shoes, and she was only $4.99, and I thought for $5, I, I wanted her. So she's really fun. Her hair is in really bad shape, unfortunately. Like, it's really frizzy and tangled. I'm hoping I'll be able to fix it, but it's really matted, and I'll do the best that I can, but she's very cute, um, but I'm excited to have her. She's, she's fun. And then the other big doll is this really pretty Ariel. Um, she's wearing an Anna dress, um, but that's okay. She has her tiara, and she's got a really pretty face, and this is my favorite kind of, like, toddler Disney doll besides the, like, the really big ones, um, but she's really nice. Um, I like her a lot, and she was she was pretty cheap i think if i remember correctly i'm trying to find her tag yeah she was only 2.99 um so that's a pretty good deal for her and for three dollars i was like yeah this is a good deal so here she is and her hair still has kind of its um its manufactured hairstyle in and it still feels really nice and soft so i'm happy with her and now I'm going to move on with all of the rest of the dolls that I got. So there are some that aren't in bags, and there are some that were over by the checkout in bags. Um, but I'll just go ahead and show you guys, and I'll just pull them out one at a time. Um, the first doll that I got is for $0.99, cents, and he, I think this is a dude doll, maybe? I don't know. He's one of the old Kens. Um, I don't think he is a Ken, but he's pretty good looking, I think. I do have a dude doll, but he kind of looks different from him. He has, like, streaks in his hair. Um, he's very handsome. He doesn't have clothes, but he was only 99 cents, so I thought it was a pretty good deal. Um, if you hear a bunch of noise from overhead, it's because my family's moving around. Um, but the next doll is this one, and I think she's really pretty. She was a dollar ninety-nine, and she's not wearing her original outfit, but I really liked her face mold and her fun colored hair. But she has a necklace and this bandana tied around her, kind of like a top. Um, and she's wearing these really cool like pink and like green gray ish and white um capri pants and she's really pretty um i don't know who she is though so if you know who she is and any of the dolls that i show you who i don't know if you could let me know in the comments that'd be great um yeah but she's really pretty i like her closed lip smile and her fun hair and then i think this is one of the dolls i'm the most excited about this is a captain marvel doll um her name, I think, like, her actual name is Carol. Um, I wasn't a big fan of the Captain Marvel movies. However, this doll is pretty darn cool, and she has all of her stuff, including her shoes. So I was like, I can't really complain. Um, she looks pretty cool. I like her a lot. She is fully articulated, including um, her knee and elbow, and she's got her jumpsuit and her boots. And even though her hair is really kind of fly away, it's in really nice shape. It's nice and soft. So I can definitely do something with it. So that's pretty exciting. And she was $1.99. So I'm excited about her. Um, yeah, I don't have a lot of superhero dolls. I have um, Electra. I don't forget what her name is. Uh, I want to say Electra. I have her. Um, I have Poison Ivy, who's not a superhero. I have Catwoman, who's also not really a superhero. Those are both villains. Um, but I also have Wonder Woman. 
and then I have some Hunger Games dolls, but they're not really superheroes either. But I'm excited to have her, and I think she's pretty cool. And then this is the last two dolls that I got that um, didn't come in a bag. I got this doll for her dress. Um, she was a dollar ninety nine. Um, and she has this really nice floral dress. She's kind of basic, but I really liked her dress. Um, and so I got her, um, yeah, she's just one of the basic blonde Barbies. Her hair is in really nice condition though. And I liked her dress, like I said. Um, and then I got this one cause I really liked her face mold. She's just one of the basic like swim line Barbies from, you know, more recently. Um, but she's in pretty good shape and she was 99 cents cause she didn't have any clothes. Um, uh, but she has really nice hair as well. It's nice and shiny. And she's got a really fun face, and I don't find a lot of African-American dolls, so I was excited to find this one. And then, moving on to the stuff with the bags. Now, I found these after I had found all the single dolls, and I didn't think I was going to find anything else. And I was very excited. And all of the dolls in the bags were only $2.99. So I'm going to show you. Here's the first bag. Um, I was really excited about the summer doll in here, this one. I, she, I think she's a happy family, but I'm not entirely sure. But she is so pretty. I love her face mold. She's got such a sweet, like, gentle, innocent face. And she's got red hair um, that, with a boil wash, will look just fine. I haven't found a doll like this in a while, so I'm pretty excited. Um, she has one arm that's pretty loose, um, but that's okay. She's really nice. Um, but she's got great face, like I said. I really like her. Um, and then the other doll in the bag, I actually really like. It's a, such a shame that her outfit has been like cut in half. I kind of want to ask my mom if she'd be willing to try and stitch it back together. Um, but I like her face. She's got the typical Christy face mold. Um, and she has really nice hair. Um, and I think this dress belongs to her, so I'll keep her in it. But this is what she looks like. And I am so grateful for the silver stamps that come on the newer dolls. Otherwise, I would never be able to figure out who these dolls are. Um, because they're just really hard to identify. But she looks great, and I'm very excited to have those two. And then the next bag. Okay, I'm very excited about this bag as well. Once again, $2.99. There's a Ken doll in here, and then there's this other one who I couldn't really see her face, but I already knew that I was going to like her. Um, she's a mermaid doll, and I do have her already, but mine is missing stuff, and so is this one, but I just really like her. She's got gorgeous long hair, and she has this rainbow skirt on, which matches her really well, actually. Um, this is what she looks like. Really long streaked hair. She's from one of the Barbie movies. I forget which one. Um, but yeah, that's her. Her hair is kind of crazy, but it's saran, so once I brush it out and condition it, it should be fine. And this is the main reason that I got the bag. He is a very handsome Ken. Um, this is what he looks like. He's got a really fun haircut. It's shaved on the sides with it long and slicked back on top. And he has his outfit, which is very cool. Um, don't find a lot of Ken dolls, especially ones like this, so I was very excited to have him. He's one of the curvy Ken dolls. And then I got this bag of Disney dolls. This is the last bag I found, once again, for $2.99. Now, I don't know if I have either of these two because they're really hard to, like, figure out if I have them or not. But I still thought it couldn't hurt because I don't find a lot of Cinderella's and I don't find a lot of Pocahontas's. So I decided to go ahead and do it. Okay, if you guys have, like, a good, reliable source for identifying Disney dolls because... It's really hard to tell the difference from one year to the next on these, like, classic Disney princess dolls. Um, a lot of them look exactly the same from year to year, and there are certain things that you can able, like, that you can use to distinguish them from each other, and I really need help identifying a lot of my Disney dolls. So if you guys have a way to do that, please let me know in the comments. Um, but we do have the Cinderella. She's not going to have a dress, but that's okay. She has her headband and her necklace. Um, and her hair is kind of in crazy shape, but it's okay. I'll be able to fix it. Um, yeah, she's really nice. Like I said, I don't have a lot of Cinderella dolls. And I love Disney Store Pocahontas dolls. And I don't think I have, um, the one from this era. This one looks really new. Um, but she's really nice. Her hair is absolutely crazy. There are some major, major mats. But the bottom looks okay. And that's always the hardest part to flat iron. So I'm excited about her. She's really, really nice. Um... I don't have her, I don't think, but I'm very excited because Pocahontas is one of my favorite Disney dolls to collect, so I'm very excited about her. And then we have three bags left. We have this bag with a Summer and a Nikki inside, 
Um, one of them is a fashionista I know. Um, I think she's very pretty. I love this particular face mold um, with just the really small rosebud lips. And I love her face. She's got a really pretty face with her tan skin and her red hair. And this dress does not belong to her. If you guys didn't already know that, um, it's one of the cheapo like dollar store ones. Um, her hair is kind of tangled, but besides that, she's fine. And then we have this Nikki, who's also in a dollar store outfit. Um, and the front of her hair has been cut. But what I tend to be able to do, if I can, is to take like some of the hair from the side. This Okay, if a doll has a front hairline that's been cut and you want to hide it, if you take some hair from the side and you braid it and kind of make like a crown braid, and then you bring the braid up in a cross, it kind of hides the cut bits. Um, and that's probably what I'll do with her. Um, since her hair is so cut, which is really sad. Um, but I'll do the best I can to save her. She's just one of the budget ones. Um, but yeah. And then the next one is this bag. And it's just two kind of basic Barbies, but they have clothes that I really liked. So I actually think this one's kind of fun. She's more tan than the other ones. And her hair has also been cut, which is, once again, a huge shame. Um, a whole big chunk of her hair is gone, which is really, really depressing. Um, it looks like I'll only be able to keep her for her clothes. Um, but I do really like her clothes. That being said, it's just this purple kind of floral blousey romper, um, which I really like. And then we have this doll in this outfit and her hair has not been cut. Thank the Lord. Um, but she's just very basic. Um, and she has this printed kind of overall outfit with like dog stuff on it. So it's like tennis balls and bones and, um, paw prints and stuff like that. Um, but I mainly bought her for her outfit. Like I said, she's just one of the basic ones. Um, her hair is nice though. And then the last bag has a sparkle girls that I'm not interested in, but there was this Barbie in it, which I was. So this is the last bag and the last thing of the haul. And I'm going through really fast so that I didn't have to do it in two parts. Um, but here's the Sparkle Girls. I'm not really going to take much time on it because I'm not going to keep it. But that is what she looks like. And then here is this one. And I am so relieved that she was the one with cut hair. She is so pretty. I think she's a dreamtopia. Um, and she is curvy. She's got blonde hair and like a really fun, sweet face. Um, and really nice detail on her top. But this is what she looks like. She has some like light turquoise streaks in her hair. Um, she's very nice, and I'm very excited to have her. Um, but yeah, she's pretty cool. Um, and this is the last doll. But I found a lot of dolls in only two thrift stores. Um, and I am very excited. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I know you guys like the thrift hauls. Um, and I hope to do a vlog sometime soon. Um, I just didn't do one because I wasn't really sure what I was going to find. Um, and there were also a lot of people around, so I didn't vlog it. But I hope you guys enjoyed the haul anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that stuff. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.